we are. All right, you ready to do this? Yeah. All righty, here we go. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the final week of Character Appreciation Month and kicking it off with us. You know her, you love her, straight out of the ghost town streets, Lucy, aka Naomi. How you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm uh I'm doing all right. You know, we're we're finally here at the final week, and uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun talking to a bunch of new people, some returning people, and uh, you yourself as well. I mean, it's it. It's just been a, a, a fantastic season, so thank you for helping contribute to that. Of course. That's been, Anytime. That's been great. So we haven't talked to you since 2019. The first time we talked to you, we got we got a little bit of your backstory. What you been up to yeah. since then? <laughs> I don't even know. Like the same stuff, I guess. <laughs> just, Nothing really has changed. Just life, huh? Just life keeps going. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, 2020, we got the pandemic, and everybody kind of had that 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 kind of year off to just kind of. Well, we really didn't figure it out. We really didn't have a choice, but yeah, we were still trying no. to figure things out. Um, and then 2021, we came back, and that was kind of like the. We've been away for too long. Let's come back. How was that coming back for you for 2021 after being off for for that whole year? Oh my God, it felt so good coming back. And I knew everybody's energy was going to be up and all the guests were like ready to see us come down there. And like the first night I remember, I was like almost in tears just because I was so happy that we were finally back and back in ghost town and like coming down Fog Alley and it just felt amazing. Oh, I mean that that energy being there opening night, it was just unreal because you could tell how many people have missed the event, how many people love this event, yeah. how many people show up each and every night. I mean, you you can, you can, you know, expressing that a little more you got people that will show up and literally just sit in spots and watch you guys all night you know us being we've done that a couple a couple of nights here and there when we used to have the past you know just to kind of sit and, and just and just people watch and stuff i mean for the fans that that had had missed it and stuff was it cool to see that 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 kind of family and energy feeling again to see everyone back to where they usually hung out or like all the guests just to be around people again how, how did that feel for you i just felt like okay like we're back like and we took a year off, but like everybody's here and everybody's here to see us. And it just felt good to just see everybody again. It was, it was, it was definitely a fun time. I remember walking through Fog Island, like this just feels right. It feels great. Yeah. It just feels like home. Yeah. It felt <laughs> like great. Back. Yeah, it yeah. did. It, it was just so weird to see knots without, you know, especially in Taste of Halloween, they kind of gave us that, you know, that whole preview of like, ah, oh, this is what it would have been like during, you know, Fog Alley and stuff. Um, which yeah. was that was a cool little tribute, you know. I mean, it made me a little, yeah. a little sad, but you know, it was still cool. Me too. <laughs> I like sat in front of a fog box for like ten minutes just to like smell it and like be back in the fog again. Yeah. No, a hundred percent. And you and and Billy are kind of just when you're out there, you guys are. 100 miles an hour like you guys are non-stop and and i've always found i've always appreciated that about you guys because like you guys are just just when you think you're there one place you guys are like on the other side of the dam of ghost town and it's just like it's unreal how fast you guys move uh, you guys have been working together for so long now what, what was it like to kind of to reunite with him again i know you guys probably kept in contact and whatnot but to get yeah. out there and scare with one of your friends again like how was that to do that again it just felt good like i don't know it just felt good to be like reunited and back together and like doing the shit again. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, a hundred percent. Because you guys are. If anybody thinks Ghost Town, you're the duo that usually pops up the most. You know what I mean? And and we love seeing you guys out there. It's, it's a lot of fun. I even this year, I even guilted them into signing their uh, their talent card right here. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was that was so funny. I bought that. I was like, I wonder if I can get them to sign it. And sure enough. I got, I got, I got decided it was awesome. So thank you so much for that. That was, that's always, it's on my wall right there. It's a little gift, my little haunt memorabilia. Yeah. I thought those cards were really cool. I had no idea he was going to even do that. That was awesome. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. They were selling them. Did you get, did you get your, get your hands on one? 
I did, yeah. yeah. Those are so cool. Those are cool collector's items. I have the regular one and the holographic one. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, those those are so, like, really collector's items. Those are cool. So the artists who yeah. did those, shout out to them. They are incredible. Theme Park Duo. Theme Park Duo. Incredible work. Yeah. I got to hit them up for the rest of them because now I want the other ones. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's been a great – it was a great season this year. Uh, 2022 was really a strong comeback for a lot. And um, not to mention, you got to do some stuff uh, before Not Scary Farm happened in, at Midsummer Scream with Decade. Uh, that was a lot of fun to, to see the slider show back at Midsummer Scream where it belongs. Uh, tell me about that. What was the emotions going into that? I know it had been a while since you guys all got to do a show together, and now you guys finally came back uh, bigger and better than ever at, at uh, Midsummer Scream this year. How was that finally yeah. coming back? Oh, my God. It was amazing that's like one of my favorite things to do is just to like go out there and perform and slide and do all those tricks and have all those people just sitting there like waiting like hours before we even have our show it's just crazy like it's it's crazy it's like i don't even know how to explain it oh i mean and you guys you guys put on really good shows every single time you guys are out there uh performing at like midsummer scream and whatnot i mean i always enjoy them and, and i'm always blown away by the stuff that i see and and how you guys continue to uh to, to, to put shine on sliding out there, especially uh, you yourself being a female slider. That is uh, incredible right there. And I know we've talked about this last time in 2019. I'm going to say it again. We need more female sliders out there. Yes, we do. Yes, I we always do. advocate for that. Always advocate that. I mean, we should get some shirts yeah. made, like more female <laughs> sliders. <laughs> we should, yeah. I'll put that in the works. Yeah, get that. That would be hilarious. But no, <laughs> for, the, for, the, for the females that are out there um, – you know, currently doing this right now too. I mean, it's just, it's cool to see how much they're, they're bringing to the table and how much they are changing the game as well. Um, you know, for the longest you've seen the majority men do this and now you're starting to see women start to get into it a little bit more. Um, and you being one of them, I mean, you've been doing this now for, for a few years. Uh, how's that been to contribute to part of something, especially at a place like not scary farm where it all started? Yeah. It's like mind blowing. Like it's like, been one of my biggest goals was to slide in ghost town but to also be a female slider in ghost town is like a big thing to me yeah and it means a lot because i also do it um at rope trap we have the slider charge mm -hmm. and i'm the only female that's a part of that line of just guys so it i don't know it just feels great like being a part of that and getting to be a part of that it's like history oh yeah that's that's i mean that's that's incredible. I mean, to see, and if no one has not seen uh, her work in the parks, uh, your work is just incredible. I mean, from the movements to to how, like I said, how you guys get to A and B quick. I mean, I'm a big dude, and I and I can see a lot of things, but I, I lose these too if it's a crowded night. They literally they yeah. blend they blend in with the audience, and it's 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 incredible to watch. Um, Thank you. So going into 2022, I mean, this was like the, in my opinion, this was like the actual, like last year was let's test the waters. This year was the year. It's like, all right, let's full blown launch it all. Um, this year auditions were a little bit different from what you're normally used to, but, uh, how was it in your experience uh, going into a re audition and, and to do that over again? I was a little nervous, but once I got there, I was like, okay, I'm ready. I had a lot of fun. It was different, but like, it wasn't that bad. I didn't think it was a lot of fun. I thought. Like okay. they gave us like different scenarios and we just worked. We just, I don't know. We just were, <laughs> we just, just did through, them. We got through them. Yeah. 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 Another, uh, I mean, we got, we had a lot of new, from what I can see, we, there was a lot of new talent in a lot of new places. Um, and yeah. that was a lot of fun to see. It's always one of my favorite things to see every single year to see which, uh, who's going to bring what to the table, who's going to add something to the scare zone and, and whatnot. And we got to see a lot of that this year, um, going into it for you. What was something that uh, – was there anything you added new that you, you did something new for this year for Lucy or was it kind of just kind of getting back to the to the hang of, of being at the haunts again to like at full capacity really? I, I try to stay close to like the roots of Lucy, but I also started using that light in my mouth, which I really liked. Mm -hmm. Like I did that towards like, the end of the run, which I regret doing because it looked really cool. Yeah. I actually got it from Jen from Goring because they started using that green light. Right. And she was like, I have different colors. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so down to put that in my mouth just to see what it would look like. And once I started doing that, I think I'm probably going to end up doing it next year. Oh, man, that's going to be fun. 
That is gonna be yeah. Cool. That that effect too is so simple yet so effective, and it's, it's so, so rad. It's so cool. Yeah, especially with yeah how well lit. Especially a place like Ghost Town, where that's like, yes it's even more dark. So like you can actually yeah. Use that when to I walk effect. through the fog, I literally look like a lighthouse. Like the light just beams out. It's so cool. That is hilarious. That's yeah. That, yeah. That is something that I think seeing down the if I were to see down Fog Alley, I'd be like, what the hell is that light? It'd be one of those funny new yeah. experiences. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man. No, I, 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 uh, no, she was great in that, in that zone. And then to see that, I saw a lot of photos of her in that effect. And to see that, <sighs> I was like, that's so fucking yeah. amazing. They're like my favorite. Those, oh my God. Like, babe. there was one where she was just like in the fog and like looking up and the light was just like shining right through. It was yeah. so cool. Yeah. She looked like she was getting possessed. Like, it was cool. Yeah. Uh, shout yeah. Out to, shout out to my boy Dented. He was taking some freaking fire photos this year. And, uh, I think, yeah, I think him and and um, and Saki ca caught a couple of that. I know that yeah. those two are very talented photographers. Oh yeah, they're amazing. Oh man, that was so much fun to see those those two this year. Uh, so you you uh, you do your audition, everything, uh, and you're obviously and you do it the best to your ability. Do what you can give out there, what they ask for, uh, and then come time the phone call. Uh, you get told you're getting put back on on Ghost Town. How does that go for you again? How's that excitement feel knowing that you had a re audition? You're like, I got back, cool. Yeah, it just feels good. Like it's like, okay, I'm going back home. All right, yeah. let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. I mean, I think I think just getting that call too. I mean, I mean, everybody wants to get the call that they're gonna end up somewhere, but to end up to end up on Ghost Town. I mean, and you've been doing it for a few years now. You're you've become one of the staple characters in the modern, in the modern generation and whatnot uh, of that. Yeah. It's crazy. Park. It's that, I mean, how, how crazy is it to see you on fan art and like merchandise? It's so weird. Like I never would have thought like when I was first starting the character, like it would, she would even be like where she is right now. It's just so weird. Yeah. I mean, cause you've, you've been at the event, like you've done mazes, you've done, you know, all these different things and just get where you're at now. I mean, how many years it's, have you had yeah. on the career so far? This past year was my 12th year. 12 years, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Now, that that, that, <laughs> that kind of sets something up perfectly if you're going to do it. But, you know, lately I've been talking to a lot of people. A lot of people are saying last tomorrow, or next year is going to be it for them. That's They're going to hang it up and everything. Is that yeah. something that uh, if you want to break the news now, is that something that you're considering for next year? Uh... I know it's the last year, possibly for my character. For I don't know okay. if it's for me and the event. Character, okay. Yeah, it might be the last year for Lucy. I would honestly, I would love to see where else you would go. To be honest with you, I know. So uh, yeah, me too. It's like it was like seeing a couple people go from different from one scare zone to another this year. It was like. Lucia yeah. is like the first person I could think of when I think of that. You know, it's like, right. I'm just like, oh my God. He was amazing over there, too. Oh, he was great. And, and to see him kind of, you know, go from that hostile character to that like split personality character, I was like, it, it, it doesn't fit, but weirdly it does. Like it's it's kind yeah, of like it worked over there. It, it, yeah. yeah, it was like this. I know this doesn't belong here, but it, it just works here for some reason. Yeah. That's yeah. Nuts. Um, Wow. So okay, I I can. I, yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, fiftieth, hang it up, and then we'll see where it goes. Lucky number thirteen, hang it up there. Yeah, huh? I, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's cool. I mean, I there's a there's I have a lot of theories and possibilities where I could see you. Honestly, like I could see you in a lot of zones, but I can honestly see you fit in somewhere like uh, the Goring Twenties. To be honest with you, really, really can. As I, what? I think honestly. I feel like we need more women gangsters there. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I would definitely do that. I feel like you could I feel like you can knock that out of the park if you were to put like your hair in a certain way and kind of have that like peaky blinders look and it's just like you walk yeah. out with like a hat or something like I could see that. Yeah. I really can. That would be sick actually. Yeah. I'm just saying, maybe one year we'll see it. Who yeah. knows? Who knows? I'll think about it. Yeah, that's a good one. I just started watching Peaky Blinders, so. I love that show. It's such a good one. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing everybody talking about like inspiration for a Gory and Twenties character. Like, we watched that show, and I was like, "Isn't that not that period accurate though?" I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> but 
that's awesome. I mean, to to see that you're interested in and in going other places. Is it something where it's just more like you kind of want to just explore some other things before you you finally do hang it up, or is it just something we're just kind of yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I think I want to do. I don't know. Like, I want to go to a different zone and kind of see what I could do. There, I still haven't been to Carnival yet either, so I'm still kind of thinking about it. I could see that too. Okay. I could. See yeah. It. And that one you'll have even more. I mean, because you, with the Lucy character, you're pretty. Are Are you pretty? Just you just mostly do noises and sound effects, really, don't you? Do you really talk? Yeah. At all? No. Kind of very minimal on the talking, right? Yeah, it's a lot of sounds. A lot of sounds and stuff. I could see you. I, it would just be like Lucio. It would be like this doesn't this. It shouldn't fit here, but it fits here good. Yeah. I could see that for it might. Carnival yeah. Carnival could be kind of a lot of fun. I'd like to see what kind of chaos you would get yourself into. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I probably would get myself in big trouble if I ever talked. <laughs> hey, I mean, listen. That's why we're there, right? We're there for a good time, you know. If you can't entertain, yeah. if you can't scare him, entertain him. If you can't entertain him, entertain yourself. That's true. It's always, the, it's always the best. Uh, opening night for 2022. Um, how did it feel to get back out there once again? Uh, this time, uh, some new things were implicated at Knots this year for for uh, stuff that happened over the summer. We had a bag policy in. We had chaperone policy for for you. Uh, I realized that in the beginning with the chaperone policy, it was pretty dead at nights. Um, it didn't oh, my really, God. Yeah. It didn't really pick back up until, like, you know, when we started hitting October and whatnot. What was it like for you to kind of work those kind of empty stages throughout the night? It was just weird. Like, even on, like, Fridays or Saturdays, and they told us the number of how, how many people were going to come through. I was like, really? Because <laughs> last year, we were sold out, like, every night. Oh, yeah. So coming into this year, I'm like, this is so weird. I mean, I, I, I've I always told a lot of people this filming for like when I was filming mazes, it was easy. It was cool because I had like my time to like take my time, catch details and whatnot. Scare yeah. zones, however, like it's cool to get some, you know, in a way one on one with you guys. Uh, sort of, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I put those in heavy quotes for big reason, because. What I mean by one-on-one -on -one is it was literally so empty that I could literally stand off to the side with the camera and they could be just doing – you guys could be just doing your thing. Either right. knowing I was recording or not knowing I was recording. And that that was like – it. that felt like a one-on-one -on -one session. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was telling people I can literally do j jumping jacks in the damn zones and it'd be – Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. So uh, I had a hate love for it in the zones. I, I loved it because I got to get some good stills of you guys, but I hated it because – Part of the compilations I make of is you guys scaring people. So Right. Really yeah. And awful. our energy is more up too when we have so many people to scare. And if there's not really yeah. a lot of people, it's just kind of like yeah. fucking around. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what do we do to pass the time now? Yeah. Fuck around. <laughs> exactly. I look at somebody of like, who's, who's, uh, who wants to die tonight? We're going <laughs> to someone's death tonight. I don't know. Exactly. Don't know. Might as well. Yeah, it was a little it was a little hard. And then I came back later in the season and it got it seemed like the crowd levels got a little bit better. Um mm -hmm. because they somewhat lifted some rules in the chaperone policy, being that if you're the age of twenty one you can bring up to like five people or you can chaperone up to Yeah, and you like got in free or something. Got in free, yeah. And and um so then I started noticing a number change in crowds right there. That was that was interesting to see uh, that and then how did that affect you going into the later season was a lot like more normalcy again yeah a little bit and which was weird too because that one wednesday we had to work was like the most crowded night of the season which is so weird it was yeah i mean because i went on a thursday and there was a bunch of schools there and i was like why is a thursday yeah that was like it was like wednesday and then the thursdays it was just weird <laughs> i was like when i would see the schools there i'm like so i guess chaperone policy don't mean shit around here <laughs> no, I love Nas. Yeah. They know I love them. Um, it was an interesting year, though, this year, to be honest with you, because, like, I just um, – I, I constantly say this, but it was across the board of any haunt that I went to that energy levels were just not the same. Like, not the same. Like, they were better than I've seen in, in like, the last couple of years. I don't know. how. Did you get to go to any haunts before you started Scary Farm this year? I went to Universal. Did Horror Nights for a night? Yeah, and outside I went the second weekend, outside of the scariest thing there, which was the lines, um, 
what was I for... got the fast pass. Oh, even better. There you yeah. Go. There you go. Yeah, I was chilling. Yeah, because God, two three hour lines. Fuck no. those lines. Yeah, it was no. It was, bad. It was yeah. horrible. Uh, but I don't know how you felt this year about Horror Nights, but for me, like, I, it was easily one of the best years since 2019, maybe even sooner. I thought so too. Um, yeah. Just so many great mazes, so many great IPs, even things that I think thought weren't going to work and actually ended up proving me wrong and worked. Um, right. You know, and, and, and you look at the energy then and, and the time and, and blood, sweat, and tears that was put into that event. And you look at other events. I went to like Six Flags. I went to like Hayride. I, of course, not. Mm -hmm. other, and it just, energy was there. It just, it felt great to be, it felt like everyone wanted to be there. It felt like everyone wanted to contribute to something special. Um, yeah. Even Shacktoberfest was really good. Really? I was, I was very surprised by that. And I'm the first one to say it. It's not no Dark Harbor, but at the same time, right. it's like, I mean, if this is what they're going to go doing from now forward, I mean, it needs a lot of improvement, but it wasn't bad. Uh -huh. So. Okay. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, now going into, uh, your, the end of your season, um, overall, uh, what did you think? how did you feel this season? How, how was it for you this season? And, and, and outside of like, the, I mean, I think the light thing is a genius idea for ghost town, by the way. Um, what's something that you, you constantly, I mean, everyone's always constantly trying to improve or, or, or whatnot. What do you want to bring to the table next year for the, being that it's going to be the 50th, uh, you back on, hopefully you're back on ghost town again. What's the mm -hmm. next, what's the next level for, uh, for Lucy? I'm pulling out all the stops because if this is the last year, like I'm going out with a bang, I'm um, leaving it out there every single night. Just man, it's gonna be just a countdown on Instagram every yeah. single week. <laughs> the final weeks. Yep. That's that's a tough pill to swallow. It really is. To just I know, of, I know. It's a tough pill to swallow. It's weird. But we'll be in an emotional journey together. Yeah. That's it's gonna, gonna be hard like that last night. I know it. Yeah. No, it was yeah. It it was weird to see a couple of people that normally are on Ghost Town that weren't there this year, either doing other things or just took the year off. But yeah, yeah. it's it's definitely weird when you when you're used to seeing a character all season and then one season they're just not there no more. You're just like I know it's so weird. Like it doesn't feel the same, but like <laughs> it is. It's just weird. It's like a piece of the puzzle just got taken out and it was just uh Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a tough pill to swallow. But uh I think we should enjoy it. There's a lot of people going out with with the uh, a final hoorah this year or this mm -hmm. next year. And it's going to be it's going to be an emotional year for I think a lot of people. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, we we had we had death retire this year. That was kind of um that threw me a curveball, but you know, much deserved for that. Yeah, all of us. Yeah. We had no idea until like the day of he told us and we were like, "What? <laughs> He's gone? He's done?" So weird. Why? <laughs> oh man, yeah, it was it was something. And then when I saw it on social media, I was like, "Wait, I don't even get to see you one last time." I'm like coming. Yeah. That, I'm like coming that Thursday. I wanted to get a picture with you, and I never got a picture with you. Like that makes me so sad now. <laughs> yeah, I was so sad. Oh yeah, that that was yeah. That I like Mike, and uh, ironically, I think he's on tomorrow's podcast. So there you go. Spoiler oh shit! Alert. Okay, he's for tomorrow. Oh yeah. Um, cool. And then, and then your sister's the the finale. Hell so, yeah! Um, it's gonna be a, it's it's been a it's been a man. It's been a year. This uh, yeah. This this month specifically, it just it it brought out something in me that um, I haven't felt in a long time. Which it's since 2019, since we actually filmed the first season of this. And it just felt great mm -hmm. to do this on a weekly basis again, to, to have your guys' stories told and to provide a platform uh, for that. Uh, and it's, yeah. been, it's been great to hear a bunch of new stories, uh, a bunch of like catching up stories and, and whatnot. What, like, as far as like, you know, memories go and whatnot, what is something that's one of the be a couple memorable things for you this season that you were just kind of like, yeah, I'm not going to forget that. That's, that's something I'll never forget. Well, the first one that popped in my head was me and um, Joseph got to go on Ghost Rider on Halloween night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As the characters? Yes, it was oh, the best. That's awesome. I bet people Yeah, I don't know if you saw that picture of us. Yeah. 
That is that's awesome. I mean, how is that? How is that doing that in 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 character and everything? It's awkward because you like walk up there and everybody's staring at you and they're like, "What? The monsters are going on the ride?" We're like, "Yep, that's right. <laughs> going on." <laughs> at the front of the line, you guys all had to wait. Yeah, like, bam. I had my little teddy bear and I put the little seatbelt on her. <laughs> oh, so man. weird. That I mean, because I I, fun, I think of like you guys as contacts and everything and all that. I'm like, yeah, that must, that must oh man, gets dried out real quick. Yeah. And, because we also went with the teacher from Ghost Town, and she has a wig. So she was sitting right in front of us. So when we were going, her wig was starting to slip back. And we were, like, ready to catch it. <laughs> you just had to be ready because you're right behind yeah. her. You're like, shit, we can't let this go. Oh, man. <laughs> and then you guys had a full train of people just in the back of you then, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's insane. That must have been an experience for someone who, who was at the event that night. That would have been... I know, it's funny. Oh man, so fifty years, thirteen years for you, uh, fifty years for the event. It's it is insane to see this uh, event grow. When you look at from when you started to where you are now, um, is there anything you would change, or do you exact same? Would you do the exact same thing all over again? I think I would do the same thing. I think maybe I wouldn't have joined Ghost Town so early. I could have done the other stuff first because I always feel like I'm never going to leave. Right. Like Ghost Town is just too good. <laughs> Once you're in, yeah. it's hard to get out. It is. Yeah. Yeah. We have so much space and just the whole in, like environment, the buildings, the fog, ev- the lights. It's just a perfect setting. And all the, yeah, all the supportive fans always come out to see us. It's just everything. Yeah. It means a lot. No, it's, it is a very special place. I've always considered uh, Ghost Town is the zone that started it all you know like if it wasn't for yeah. this town i don't think haunts in general would be where they are today exactly like, so it's just it feels great to be a part of that yeah i bet i mean i i it just feels great to be there and witness it and yeah and to, to know so many people that i can talk to to share their experiences about it it's it's insane to just think about that but i'm like i said i'm always incredibly grateful for all these opportunities because I'm a little freaking geek and fanboy over this stuff, and I know. Same. A, I, I was gonna say I know there's a lot of people out there that are like me that like to listen to these podcasts every every year that we do them. So. Oh yeah. It, yeah. It's been it's fun. So. Now you're now it's it's the end of the season. I mean we we are actually tomorrow as this recording is Thanksgiving. We're pretty far into to November as it is, but uh, how does the re- how does the off season for you? Is there just a lot of just getting back to the normal routine and getting back to normal life and yeah it's like a lot of catching up on sleep after and like trying to get back into like the normal schedule but then we're gonna have decayed stuff starting again soon so then i have to jump back into that it's gonna be a lot of fun looking forward yeah to it. me go, too go follow decay brigade on uh instagram you guys can find them social medias across the board be oh, yeah. when they uh when they do something new because uh could be very soon we don't even know could be. Could be. Uh, and Naomi, uh, it's always always an absolute pleasure talking with you. Always. Uh, you too. Where can they find you? on? I know with, with the, the policy changes and whatnot, it's a little bit hard. So where can they find you on social media to, if they want to keep up with you? Uh, my personal is Naomi Fatale. It's N-O-M-I underscore F-A-T-A-L-E. And I also have my modeling account, which is Vampire Vixen XX. There it is. The, yeah. How's, how's the modeling crew going? Going good? It's good. I need to pick it back up now that haunts over. So I know. I I'm probably like, going to jump back into that. I feel like a lot of people who are like in the modeling world or the, co- or the cosplay world or anything who are in haunt, like just always take those two months off. And then it's like coming back. Yeah. It's like that brief period of rest. And it's like, okay, now I got to go back to the other stuff that I have to do year round. Yeah. But, it's oh, just yeah. never ending. It, it really is. It really is never ending. Just once it stops, it just keeps going. Um, yeah, it's always busy. Well, I I can't wait to see uh, the last year of Lucy. I'm gonna enjoy every moment of it. Enjoy those times of seeing you on on Ghost Town. I wouldn't say for the final time, but I will say probably for a good period of time. Um, yeah, we'll see. We shall see where that goes. But uh, with all that being said, I um. Again, I just want to thank you for everything you you contribute to this season. It's been a pleasure to watch you do what you do best, um, and 
just happy we got to do this podcast again and catch up. It's been a few years since I've actually gotten to sit down and talk with you. So that's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me on again. No, means a lot. no problem at all. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification be where every time we put up a new video, follow us on our socials, uh, Twitter at Knights of Horror and TikTok and Instagram at The Knights of Horror and Knights of Horror Gaming over on Twitch. So go check that out as well. If nothing else more, I am your host, Anthony. It's my guest, the amazingly talented Naomi. And we will see you Thank guys you. <laughs> tomorrow for the final two.